back to Investing with Ken Bajmadar. As usual, I'm Ken Bajmadar. I'm super happy to share this great content with you. Uh, today's video is going to be a companion to my other video, which I hope you might have seen of what to do if you are going through a job transition. But this video is going to be about how to get almost any job that you possibly want. I think it's really a little unfortunate that this content isn't taught in schools. A lot of people don't really contextualize how to really get any job you want. And this, so the first step in that process is deciding what you want, right? And that's the first step. And so hopefully if you saw my other video, you're in a job transition, instead of spamming the world and just taking the first thing that comes by, you're going to be much more thoughtful than the average bear. You're going to do some homework. You're going to do the, uh, an exercise. Uh, watch one of my other videos, uh, which I'm going to uh, watch out for one of my other videos where I'm going to share this incredible exercise with you guys uh, that I think everybody should do. I did it myself and it really helped me so much, uh, which is a, an exercise called writing your own obituary. So I'm going to, I'm going to explain that in a different video. But for now, how do you get any job you want? So first of all, start with what is it that you want? How do you figure that out? Think back to think other all the jobs that you've had until now, or if you don't, if you haven't had a job because you're new in your career, uh, think back to hobbies, activities, experiences you've had. Make a list of the times when you've been doing some kind of work or activity, but you've been very, very happy. It seems like time seems to pass uh, effortlessly. Those, those should give you some clues into the types of things that you might be good at. Also make a list of things that you enjoy, things that you're really good at, things that you're really bad at. And when you write, and you have to write these things down. So make lists, write them down, actually write them down, show them to people you know, friends, advisors, mentors, teachers, and get their input to make sure that your list is pretty accurate. And if you, if you go through the trouble of doing all of this, it will, I believe, point you into a certain direction because when you pick the area that you want to work in, it should be based on a combination of allowing you to focus and contribute the things you're good at, not requiring you to do a lot of things that you don't like to do or you're not good at. And it should be in an area that you have some passion for and that you could see yourself in long term. So once you decide on what that is, <clears throat> it's then up to you to take the next steps into actions that I'm going to lay out to basically get any job that you want. And by the way, um, the inspiration for a lot of the ideas in terms of the actual job process and just the topic of this video actually comes from this book that I read many, many years ago. My father had a very beat up old copy of the book. This book is actually, this edition is from 2004. It's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I believe it was written, oh, probably 70, 80, 90 years ago, uh, the original version. And my dad had a very beaten up old dog-eared copy that he had bought somewhere in India. It used to be in our house. I, I picked it up probably when I was around 10 or 12. I, I read it and I didn't, I was like, sort of like, oh, you know, don't get it. Um, and there's a lot of power in this book, actually. I, I've personally met multiple extremely successful people, including some very wealthy people who said that this book was responsible for their success. Uh, so actually, I'm going to do another video on, on my thoughts on this book and the contents of this book. Uh, but for now, one of the little nuggets in here is basically how to, how to get any job you want and how the people that get the jobs that they want, their dream jobs, go about the job search process completely differently from most people. So what do most people do? As I mentioned in my other video, they spam the world. They don't even know what they want to do. And then they just sort of go. Now, in the modern version of that is, you know, you go on Indeed or one of these job sites create a generic resume and just literally hit submit, submit, submit without any customization, without even fully reading the job post, just throw a lot of stuff against the you know what and hope that some of it sticks. Well, that is not the way to go about it. It's not very deliberate and frankly is not powerful and it's doing a disservice to yourself. So the right way to do it is make that list, figure out what area you should be in, what specific jobs that you want to be in. That's number one. Number two, what you want to do is, is then identify within that 
area or industry or field, <clears throat> what skills you need and what who are the, the, the leaders that you would want to work for, right? You want to work in a place or work for somebody that you can really learn a lot from and who can really advance your progress in that, in that field. So you have to be deliberate not only about that, uh, I want to be in this area, but also who specifically you want to work for, which company, which department within that company, and which individual people within that company and so how do you find all that information? You actually have to do work. Uh, so once you've narrowed it down to a specific career or specific company uh, or area of, of expertise, then you want to start getting to work and doing your research. And this now this is where modern life, it lends itself. You could just sit there in front of Google, type in a few terms and get tons of information about whatever you want. In the old days, you would have to actually go to a library and find certain specialized publications and subscribe to them and so forth. And you could still do that. But today we've got the luxury that we can do a lot of this research right on our computers for free very quickly. So now you start researching and reading as much as you can about that specific area, about the companies in that area, about the people within those companies. And again, you could use resources besides the internet. You could use specialized sites like LinkedIn. Um, to research companies and people and make connection requests to those people. So <clears throat> once you've identified an industry and you've identified the leaders in the industry, the next step in getting uh, almost any job you want is to start researching and learning as much as you possibly can. And uh, one of the best ways to do that is by going through a, a process of sort of informational interviews. Uh, so, oh, by the way, as an aside, uh, going back to what I talked about, once you decide on the industry and area you like, obviously, to be at a high level in any area, you need to have specialized knowledge. That's actually one of the things, one of the chapters in, uh, in Think and Grow Rich is about the importance of specialized knowledge. Uh, and as counterintuitive as it may seem, uh, except upon reflection, uh, the more specialized your knowledge, the more value you have to people in that area or in that niche. And that, and that idea of specialized knowledge actually fits into this idea of getting any job you want. So for example, you could say, well, what I really, my, really my dream and my passion is that I wanna be a doctor. Well, and you don't have a medical degree, then you can't be a doctor. So now that points you to a path where <clears throat> you might have to go back and say, now I have to go to medical school, but in order to go to medical school, I need to, get um, you know, my undergrad in chemistry and physics and all, and then apply to medical school. So there could be multiple steps ahead of that. Sometimes the job you want might take years of effort, but it still would be worth it if you've finally been deliberate and actually identified that this is in fact your dream and the thing that is meant to be where you contribute to the world and what will make you happiest and what feels effortless to you. But let's say that that's not the case and you identify an area, you know the companies in the area, you have got the skills already. So how do you actually get almost any job you want? <clears throat> so this is where the work comes in. So what I want you to do is actually become an expert on that industry and those companies. And you could do this through third party research, but you can also do this by looking up people that are experts and reaching out to them and asking for informational interviews. So the way to do that is, you know, using something like LinkedIn or just networks, you know, your alumni networks, calling people. You know, if you call people the right way and you could say to them, hey, you know, I'm so-and-so, I'm really super interested in learning more about your company and your industry, and I would, super, I would very much appreciate it if I could take you for a cup of coffee or, or a lunch somewhere for 15, 20 minutes, pick your brain, et cetera. Now, obviously that does take some persistence and determination, but if you do it the right way and you approach the right people respectfully, you will start to get at least a few people who will agree to do that. And so what I want you to do is find a number of people that, are, that know about that business, take them to lunch, take them to coffee, and pick their brains and learn as much as you possibly can about each of their, ask them about their industry that they're in, what kind of challenges do they have? 
what kind of things worry them, what kind of things are going well, what kind of things aren't going well, what do they think of the future of that area? And ask them about the industry, the field, the company. And then at the end, you can say, hey, this has been phenomenal. Uh, I can't believe how much I've gotten out of this. If there's anything I can do, et cetera, please let me know, send them a thank you note, maybe send them a nice gift card to somewhere just as a token of sincere appreciation. And then you can also say, hey, you know, this has been so valuable and usually top people such as yourself know other people. And as I do my ongoing research, is there one or two other people that you could possibly introduce me to so I can continue to learn? And again, I think most people now, especially since you know them, they will help you in your learning process. So now you take a few months and you, you become a real expert. And by this time, you will actually know more than a lot of the people in the industry. You'll know a lot of the people, you'll know a lot of the companies, you'll know a ton about what companies are doing what, who's doing what to whom, and you'll have done third-party research. And then what I want you to do is actually write down a lot of your findings into some kind of report that really distills for the benefit of other people a lot of what you've learned. So now that you've done all this work, you've really grown tremendously in your knowledge and your expertise and in the value that you can bring. And then you're almost ready to start looking for or applying for your dream job. But now here's another important critical shift that I want you to do. Most people, when they approach a job search, they want to go to the person who's hiring and they basically want to say to them, or effectively that what they're thinking to themselves is, hey, I've got a problem, which is that I don't have a job or I don't have a job I like or I don't have a job I want to stay in. So I'm coming to you and I want you, Mr. Employer, to solve my problem, which is I don't have a job or I don't have a job I like. So, hey, Mr. Employer, please give me a job that I like. Effectively saying to an employer, I want you to not only handle all the problems that you have, but also take on one more additional problem, which is making me one of your employees and giving me a salary and <clears throat> that literally is the spirit if at all that most people approach a job a job search is i've got a problem please help me solve my problem in fact what you should do if you want to have virtually any job you want is to do the exact opposite which is say it's not about me it's not about solving my problem in fact on on the contrary i'm a resource mr employer not only am I not going to ask you to solve my problems, I'm going to do the opposite. I understand your problems right now so well, because by this point you've done a ton of research and work, and you've actually got this whole report that you've written that makes you tremendously qualified. You should be at this point able to walk into any of the employers in your field and know exactly what their biggest issues are, know exactly what's keeping the top CEOs and the other top people at that company up at night, and you also actually know probably their most pressing issues or problems, and you've identified the intersection between their most pressing issues and problems right now and your skills and your passions, because that's why you're kind of pursuing this, you're, you're in that conversation. So now what I want you to do is make a list of the number one company that you wanna work for and the number one department or boss within that company that you wanna work for and go down the list, number two, number three, number four, number five. Now, many of these people probably are already in your network because you, you did this whole other process. And I want you to now approach that first person and say, hey, I'm, <clears throat> I, I really want to uh, follow up uh, on our original meeting or if not a follow-up, if it's a new person, reach out to them again in the right ways and say, hey, you know, I'm." I've analyzed the industry, I've analyzed uh, the, uh, the company, and I'd love to meet with you for the following purpose, which is to give you value. I've actually done all this research, I've become an expert in your field, I've actually talked to a lot of your competitors and others that you, you do business with, and I wanna give you a bunch of value, I wanna give you the insights that I've found from all this work that I did over the last month or two. Um, and so when is a good time for me to do that? When can I take you to lunch or grab a coffee where I can share all of these values and findings with you? Actually, I think a lot of them you'll find surprising and uh, very helpful. 
So now you're approaching the original conversation with your hopefully future employer, not with asking them for something, but in fact, offering them of something of tremendous value that they don't have and they really need, right? And as part of that conversation, as you give them all this value, <clears throat> of course, it's appropriate to say, oh, by the way, you know, you've been looking for the right position within the industry. And to the extent that you are right and that you've understood that their number one problem is X, you have a whole plan of how you can help them solve X and lay that out for them and basically explain to them how you, your vision or your findings wow. of you're going to help them solve their most pressing business problem. If you've done all this, if you've followed everything I've said, if you, first of all, if you've understood it, and then also actually taken it into practice, and by this point, your future employer, probably the number one person on the list is, is sort of saying, thinking to themselves, hey, this is incredible. Like this has never happened to me, happened to me in my whole life. And I don't, even if somebody employs a thousand people, I guarantee you, no one, not even a single person has ever done this for them. And so at this point, they're thinking to themselves, I need to have this person on my team. And what is it going to take to have this person on my team? And then you could start talking about, you know, the parameters within which you'd love to help them in this area and solve their problem. So obviously, as I said, I wanted to do a video about how to get almost any job you want. Uh, I never promised that it would be easy. And I think most people who are watching this will probably say, oh gosh, this is too much work. I'm gonna go back to spamming everybody on Indeed. But if you're that one guy or one gal who doesn't uh, do that and actually got value out of this, then please hit the like button uh, so that it helps us create more original content like this. And um, please also subscribe to the channel because we're gonna do a lot of different videos on all kinds of different topics. Uh, good luck to all of you out there, and I hope that uh, this helped you.